Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys. As ever, as always, uh, a series about writing apps, writing tools, services, methods, anything that will help writers, particularly writers who use Macs and iPhones and iPads. In this particular case, I want to tell you something that I think is an essential for all writers who use Macs, iPhones and iPads. It's going to take me a minute to convince you, though, because it's going to sound, well, divisive at first. All I really want to talk to you about this time is one app. It's called Omni Outliner. Actually, there's a version in particular we'll look at called Omni Outliner Essentials. And it works on Macs and iPhones and iPads, on all of them. Uh, except the thing is, did you just twitch slightly at the word outline in the name, Omni Outliner? Well, if you didn't, I did. I have come over to this outlining side, though. Still not for pure writing. I'm still one of these people who will just write, see what happens, and fully accept that I'm going to throw away a gigantic amount. Except there is this one app called Omni Outliner, and in particular Omni Outliner Essentials, like the cut-down basic version. I've been using now for six or seven years, and I think it's unlikely I've gone a day in that time, including weekends, and obviously including holidays, I'm a writer, uh, where I haven't opened that app. If not to create a new outline for something, then certainly to check and compare. And it's not like I've written a new book every day. Why would I need a new outline? Well, I'm going to show you in a second, but the summary version is don't think of this as an outliner in the way you might uh, the outline in feature in Word, for example. It's more like a way of organising ideas. And I came to, came to love it, actually, through the, the business of writing, things I had to prepare for people, events I needed to run. That's what got me sucked in. And when I show you how that works, I hope it will do the same for you. And then I will admit, I'm gonna show you at the end something that helps me in pure writing. But first of all, let's have a look at this thing, okay? This is a basic blank Omni Outliner document, and that's very exciting. You can tell that you can write things and then you can write other things. And maybe you can, well, you can definitely do this. You can hold on that line and you can just move it up there. And now, you know, you've changed the sequence. Uh, third part of the sequence. Is now the first. Write it down, get it down, rearrange it as quickly as that. Uh, you can also do this. Um, let me put this back to the bottom because actually I'm going to reorder this because it's bothering me a little bit. Uh, write things. Let's say that's uh, the most important thing I'm thinking about in my mind. And I know within it I'm going to have to write other things and I'm going to have to write a third part. If I do this, click in there, I'm going to hit the tab key and do the same on that one. You see that they've indented. So now visually you can see that's underneath this. You can also do that. I like that. You saw how fast... Uh, I did it because I do it all the time. I'm kind of used to it. Click, drag, tap. Uh, to, actually, let me just show you. I changed my mind about this one. I do shift tab. There it goes back. And now we can close that. And now we've got this. Fine. I like that. I use it. I'm recommending it to you. But I am conscious of the fact that that's what all outliners do. Uh, if you have Microsoft Word, you've already got an outlining thing. I actually not only don't recommend words outliner i found i find it sapping and often i mean we didn't get into this to create an outline we are using an outline to create a, well maybe you're doing it for a story but i do it mostly for events for programming all sorts of organization that's the thing we're doing this for the end result is not the outline the end result is what the outline gets us and in word i find that it's really hard to get it back out of the outline it's like it assumes my final document will be that not that it's a guide to do a job for it uh, if your mileage varies and you utterly love Microsoft Word's outlining, well then, stick with it, of course. But I offer that this is, can I go for infinitely better? I'm gonna go for infinitely better. Let me uh, put up another example of something while we talk. Right, this is actually uh, the outline for this. I knew I wanted to talk to you. Um, I know it's just us talking, but I was also conscious of the fact that I'd love Omni Outliner so much, I could have rabbited on at you for an hour. And there were certain things you need to know, like what's it called? Uh, also, we're gonna tell you how much it costs, things like that. Um, 
I needed to get certain things done in the right sequence, which is usually what happens with me in Omni Outliner. I have something to do, something to achieve. What's the best way? Uh, with events, for example, I might well be told the start time and the end time and that there's a lunch in the middle. Uh, how do I fill that time in the most useful way to the attendees, things like that. Um, I might know exactly, I've not even asked to do certain things in the event. I might want to do certain things in the event. I lob them all down in Tom and then I move them around, adjust them, add things. And then when I, I'm happy with the shape, I might add in other things. Um, if it's a writing thing, I mean, I just did a talk about uh, dialogue writing. Well, I've made loads of notes about dialogue from previous workshops. I'll just drag them straight into the outline and I'll have the outline in front of me. In fact, actually, let me show you that. Here's Omni Outliner on location. Uh, I'm sitting here in an event, it's a bit echoey around here. That will change when there are a lot of people in. There are going to be 12 to 15 people in here. Uh, writers working together, you know how quiet writers get. It's going to sound very different. But all the way through it, I will have this. This is the uh, outline that you saw me write on the Mac. I have fiddled it a bit this morning. I've moved things around a tiny bit, and I will also change things as we go through the workshop. Right, I promise I'm not gonna take you around every workshop I do, especially as I've just realized I'm wearing the same suit for this one. Okay. Uh, but I wanna see something else. This is another workshop, completely different uh, to the last one, but of course I planned it the same way. I used Omni Outliner, but I'm also using Omni Outliner in the workshop in a very particular way to help me. So have a look at this. This is the screen that I'm projecting some slides onto. There weren't slides in the other one. I'm using Keynote for this. There's about 200 slides, uh, all sorts of things going on in it. And I need to keep track not only of what's coming next, which Keynote can do, it can show me the current slide and the next one. I need to keep track of what notes I can do. And Keynote can also do that. Keynote can let me have presenter notes on screen. The keynote for iPad won't let me have the current slide, the current notes, and the next slide. So I find the most useful thing for me to do is to have the current and the next slide, and next to it, the Omni Outliner document, which also lets me put in other notes, like when I'm, this is an odd one where I'm trying to give people breaks in the day. It's an all day kind of workshop. I want to get to certain points, but if we're slow or we're fast, when can I, when's a good point to put a break in, when's a, an okay time, and how do we fit around lunch, all that sort of stuff. So that goes into my Omni Outliner document, and I need to see that and refer to it at all times, but I'm projecting onto a screen. I don't want people to see that, and I don't have to, because I can do this. This is split screen on a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I'm able to bring across the Omni Outliner document and just have it there all the time. So yet again, it's a planning tool, and this time it's actually also an operational tool. I, st I told you, I, my heart is in just writing and see what happens. But can I tell you this? Well, I'm obviously started, I'm going to. I once was pitching for a particular TV show that I wanted to work on, and, and it didn't work out in the end, but for a long time, a couple of months even, it was going really well. And part of the gig of keeping that relationship going being, you know, the great responsive writer and all this stuff, uh, they they told me they wanted ideas. Easy. I said, I can come up with ideas for stories very easily. Yeah, they didn't just want one-liners, though. They were, it boiled down to, effectively, a short story. They wanted about a thousand words, I think it made slightly more, can't remember now, about a thousand words of a complete story that would fit their thing, which is a bit of an ask, now I think of it. But at the time, I was keen, I wanted to do it, and I was bursting with ideas. Or so I thought. First one, easy. Second one, okay. But then with the third one, I was really struggling. And uh, the job was, I think in the end, I did 20, maybe 25 of these things, fully worked out, fully written up ideas. And I know I just said the TV show didn't work out, but two or three of those ideas were actually pretty good and I've used them for plays and things since. So it was, was it worth the effort? I don't know, but it's not about my effort and my choices of where I'm pitching. This is about how Omni Outliner helps me. In this case, when I was uh, four or five in and really struggling, I, I, I was getting quite frantic, actually. And I'd walk down the street and I suddenly, I would think of, all right, well, um, okay, somebody hits their uh, hand in a car door. There you go. It's a medical show, accident. There's a small thing. Hurts a lot. I've done it. 
great. So I would just write that down, do something with this thing about hurting a hand. And then yeah, I'd be going somewhere, I'd get somewhere else, I'd think about something else. I'd actually, I'd rip off the event I was in thinking, oh, there's a medical emergency in this event. Doesn't matter what, just one line, knock it into an omni outline document. And the end of each day, end of each week, as I was, whatever it was, I was compiling these things, I would look back at it. And let's take the car door example. It's uh, right, okay, something happens, somebody, who is the person that would be most affected by hitting their hand in a car door? Medical show, car door, injury. Uh, my mind went to a surgeon. Uh, she's a uh, brain surgeon, can't use her hands anymore. Okay, that gives me, that actually starts to give me a bit of character as well, because uh, surgeons have an ego about them as well and things, not necessarily, but you know how it can happen. I can make that happen with my character. So now I've got, uh, I've got a character and I've got a bit of plot. Well, all right, what's the worst possible time for her to do this? On her way to an important operation, right. Now I've got two. What must happen afterwards? Uh, we have to have a, a cast come rescue her or sort her out in some way. She has to be worried about the surgery, getting a replacement. All right, now I've got four lines or so. And I would build it up until I had about 20. Um, if you look at the side now, this is an example of a Doctor Who idea that I've been working up. It is kind of secret. I haven't actually pitched it to Big Finish or anybody yet, but um, I don't know that I will. Honestly, I'm exploring an idea. This is not creating an outline for a story. This is massaging an idea to see what can go where. And if I throw it away at the end, I throw it away at the end. It's a way of working out, getting something out of your head and onto the screen where you can look at it. Now that screen turns out to be an iPhone. Um, you've seen it on location, I use it on an iPad. I've written this stuff on the Mac. I like the fact that whichever device is nearest, I use. Omni Outliner works everywhere. And I think part of that is, yes, technically it works everywhere, that's great, but also it works for everyone. If you are a writer, I mean, if you're a poet and you, if you're Emily Dickinson and you, you write incredibly, but you never actually publish, maybe this is of no use to you. But if you have to uh, look at um, all the places that you've submitted poems to, well, this is a way of keeping a list. You can work through. You can write down in sequence the, uh, the journals you want to be published in and then tick them off as you do or don't get into them. You can organise your work. You can organise the actual writing. You can organise events. You can organise videos like this. It is an organisation tool. So Omni Organiser might be a better name for it. But Omni Outliner is the name and uh, Omni Outliner is your friend. Everything I've told you about so far works in this thing called Omni Outliner Essentials. It's not like it's a cut down thing with bits missing. It's like there is another version with bits added. And I believe you probably only need Omni Outliner Essentials. The other one is called Omni Outliner Pro and I do have it, but I kind of moved up to it after four years of this stuff. And I like it and I, I love it actually. And I'll very quickly show you the differences, uh, but then I'll show you the price and you'll go back to wanting Omni Outliner Essentials, okay? Um, here's the pro stuff. We can have columns, we can add things. Let's have a look at this thing. We'll just add a new column. So yeah, you do that and I can do, yeah, 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 yeah. Done that, done that, oh, haven't done that, and so on. Uh, that's a pro feature. You need Omni Outliner Pro for, this kind of adding columns and you can just keep going as many columns as you like. I had a book project where it was, is draft one done? Is draft two done? Has it been um, you know, checked by the editor? Has it been checked by the publisher? Whatever it was for it, that whole thing. And um, as well as columns with ticks and goes like, it's like making Excel, isn't it? You can have ticks and columns in this, but you can also change the colors. You can have a column that's red for all the stuff you haven't done and all this. And also notice this please, this is one I like a lot as well. Start recording. Pro feature, I don't use it very often, but just occasionally I do. You saw that I use an iPad in events. Um, obviously the people in the event have to know I'm gonna do this, uh, but if something comes up where maybe they're asking me questions and I know I can't answer them yet and I've promised them back, well, I, I mean, I'll ask them to email me really, but I can also just say, right, hit record, and this starts taping audio of what's going on in the event. It's not broadcast quality, but it's good enough 
for listening to you. As I'm walking around a, a workshop carrying my iPad, I can you know, point it at them, we can talk, I can make notes later. It doesn't come up a lot, but when it comes up, it is so useful. So that's Omni Outliner Pro. I'll tell you the Pro prices first, because then you'll love the Essentials ones. Omni Outliner Pro for the Mac costs $99.99. .99. So call it 100 quid, 80, 100 quid, something like that. Uh, Omni Outliner Pro for the iPhone and iPad, which is a separate product. There's the Mac one, there's the iOS version. Omni Outliner Pro for iOS is $50. Um, but then the Essentials cost on the Mac, um, actually Mac and uh, iOS, uh, separate products again, but on each platform, Mac is one, iOS is another, it costs $19.99, which I, I looked it up last night, it's a, a currently about £15 or so. £15 to do this, utter, utter bargain, but you can also get a trial version. Now all you have to do is try this for yourself. Please do, I'm urging you to, to get the trial version see what you think. Uh, for iPhones and iPads, go to the iOS App Store, download it from there, knock yourself out. For the Mac, you've got a choice between the Mac App Store and going direct to the developers, the Omni Group. Go direct to the developers. Great app, great company, love all of their software and couldn't recommend Omni Outliner any higher than I could. I think you've picked up on that. Have you gathered that? Have you read between the lines a little bit? That's it for 58 Keys and this hymn of praise for Omni Outliner. Thank you very much for watching. Do do that whole YouTube thing, the like, the subscribe, that helps me a great deal if you would do that. And also join the writer's mailing list. 58 Keys is part of a bigger world, which includes uh, some books, some online courses, lots of things. Changes all the time, but things are coming up soon, always, whenever you're watching this. So have a look for the writer's mailing list and you'll find a link for that down below in the description of this or on 58keys.com. Join up with that and I'll tell you more about such things as making more time for your writing. Because you need that, don't you? Yes, you do. Certainly I do. Thank you for watching. See you soon.